Will it be the Saints or will it be the town marching into round two of the FEI Cup? There will be a winner on the night. Extra time and penalties if required. Here's Christian McCarson, ex Bowes man. Gets it out to Joshua Gurgi. Gurgi with five goals this season. It's been a while though since he scored one, but that's a good ball in behind to Christian McCarson. And that is an excellent save. Not gone just yet though, the chance. That early attack from Longford. This is impressive stuff from Longford though in the opening six minutes here, Kieran. Really carrying the game to St. Pat's. Ball over the top from Mark Doyle. He looks a yard or two offside. Flag stays down. Doyle cuts it onto his right foot. Doyle with the shot towards the near post. Easy save in the end for Brady. Brady with the hand up. He was sure that was offside. He's not happy about I that at all. I myself, I have to say. We're trying to play their way out past the Pat's press now. They end up going long up towards McGarson. Really oh. good strength, good hold up play from McGarson. And he's found Daly. And Daly has Joshua Gurgi outside. He's over, hit the pass. Gurgi's going to have to scamper to keep this in play. He's done really well. Tries to keep it alive. He's done it as well. Daly cuts it onto the left, goes down in the penalty area. Never going to be given that one. He loses his footing. Could that be costly now as McClellan gathers the ball, gets it inside to Murphy. He's got Doyle in front of him. Goes the other side instead. Doyle though is free at the back post. He's totally unmarked, but he's just misread the bounce of the ball. Good counter attack from Pats, but just a few moments ago, uh, if Daly's pass was yes. better, Longford were in on goal again. That's kind of Longford's a kid. I'm trying to push up a yard or two now, but they're still quite deep. And that'll allow Pats to recycle possession here through Jamie McGrath. I think Longford just have to have the concentration levels high here now, Kieran. Pat's starting to move the ball a bit quicker. Here's Lennon. Lennon's going to have a shot. Wasn't a bad effort, but was always rising. I don't think Jack Brady was worried about that one. He needs to take care with this goal kick. And he's lost his footing just as I say that. And this could give Connor Carty a chance. And Brady thought about coming. He's decided to stay at home. That was the right decision. Carty looking for support now. Gives the ball inside to McClelland. Easy catch, easy save for Jack Brady. That's another player though, losing their footing. Players are really tightly marshalled by Kyle O'Connor. Good defender from O'Connor. And Duna got a little flick on that to knock it out for a throw. That's a good tackle from Serenyuk, but the ball is broken the way here of Jamie Lennon. It's a decent effort. Flies over the bar. And it was finished down the other end as well, so. This is a team that can play out for the back long for town. Here's Carty though for Pats, lays it off to Forrester. Lovely ball back into Carty, he's trying to get onto his right foot. Jason McClellan cuts onto his left. Gets the ball out here to Mark Doyle. Lovely little back heel to Murphy. Murphy dinks it in, but it's well gathered by Jack Brady. All the time in the Premier Division from them. It's good press again from Longford though. Forces Pats to go along, and Aaron Walsh takes it down on his chest. It's a slightly heavy touch. And that's a heavy touch as well from Dylan Han. Flo a full blood tackle on Forrester. I don't, know if we'll, don't know if we'll get to see a replay of that there. But uh, I d on first view in Kieran, you want to see your centre half putting in tackles. You don't want to see him shying away from the ball. So. Now Jack Brady is obviously worried here because he's got a four man wall despite the fact this is a long way out. And they went for a little Sligo Rovers 2013 Cup special there. And another foul call here, this time on Victor Serdeniuk. And he's going to be the first booking of the game by the looks of things, the Ukrainian. Hennessy has the yellow card. On for town with six men in the wall. Brady standing to the right hand side of his goal. He's left a lot of space to the left, I'm sure. That's where Forrester will be aiming for here. Forrester steps up. Forrester! Just wide. Breaking forward now. Ball out here to Mark Doyle. He's got Adam Murphy making a run inside. Doyle though into Forrester. It does eventually go to Murphy. Appeals for offside, not given. Murphy sends it towards the back post. Jason McLennan heads it back across goal towards Carty. Carty's kept it alive for Mark Doyle. What a save from Brady. Super save there by Jack Brady. Wow, what a moment. Um. Kyle O'Connor into Daly. Here's Duna. Much better from Duna this time. He's got And he's been pulled back off the ball there, Duna. The referee didn't spot it. But he eventually gets on this one anyway. O'Connor, can he cross it from here? No, he has to go inside to Daly. Daly turns nicely. Daly with a cross in towards McGerson. A really important piece of defending there from David Norman. It will be a corner to Longford. Poor Low ball. of a cross in from Derek Daly. Cleared away at the front post. It's a poor ball there. Not even to beat the first man. You need better yeah. than that, Kieran. Excellent hold up play again from McGerson, having his jersey pulled, but he holds his man off. A through ball for James Duna. I wonder would the flag have gone up. He's really put himself into it. Yeah, he's a confidence player. That might just boost the confidence levels, but here's Breslin floating one in. 
Not a bad ball, but Brady read it well. Brady rolls it out quickly to Armstrong. Armstrong up to McGerson and he's oh. been absolutely cleaned out oh, there. Oh, that is a that is a shocker there. That is a shocker. And I think that's just frustration as well, Kieran, because McGerson has been winning that one-on-one. -on -one. Doyle. Here's Jamie Lennon. Longford Town sitting in a deep defensive shell here. McClellan trying to break through that shell. Ball over the top for Doyle. The flag is up. Flag is up. Lovely little deaf header from Mark Doyle. Jack Brady with no chance from that sort of range. He was right on the six yard line. Yeah, we get to see it again there. He's done really, really well, Murphy, to win that corner. It's going to be McClellan to go and take. He gives the signal. Two hands in the air. Strong breeze again as he whips this one in and could have gone straight in only for the reaction to Jack Brady. But referee Rob Hennessy, he's spotted some sight, uh, sort of foul in there. But that was really alert goalkeeping from Brady because just as that was happened, it was McGerson that really won that battle. And speaking of battles, Kyle O'Connor comes out on top against McClelland. Here's James Duna. Duna losing his foot just at the wrong time. He ran into the brick wall. That is Sam Curtis. Yeah, it was just unfortunate there. He got the studs on the ball, didn't he? And the, the turf just opened up on him. But Longford straight back in again, Kieran. Yeah, a careless layoff from Connor Carty. Decent ball from O'Connor. That was in towards McGerson. Here's Victor Sardeniuk, who was with Shamrock Rovers last season, of course. Aaron Walsh needs to get back now for Longford. He's been skipped by there by Mark Doyle. And there's a decent through ball for Connor Carty. A last gas tackle from Dylan Hand. It came what off the shins of Carty as well. It's only going to be a goal kick. But have Jordan Adeyemo to call on, of course, now. Recently made his return from Wexford, where he had a frustrating spell. Daly, ball inside to Duna. Can Duna get it back to Daly? Great tight control from Duna, and that's surely a foul referee. Yes, I thought he was pointing at the ball to say Murphy got that one, but Murphy has cleaned out oh, Duna. He was Still in love with the game, as is this man, Chris Forrester. What a ball from Forrester, out to Mark Doyle. Keeps it in play, he's one-on-one -on -one here with Shane Elworthy. Elworthy might be feeling a bit uneasy as Doyle cuts in, but that's only in the side net. And and sent off just moments after coming on for his debut here last week. It's a long throw into the penalty area. That was taken by Dylan Hand. That's a weapon Longford Town haven't had at their disposal all season, but Hand's arrival gives them that option now. This is nice play from Longford. Gershie towards Walsh oh, at the back oh, post. No, just just on the stretch. Just too much on it, but fantastic. But, uh, look, it's encouraging it's from both teams. It really is. It's kind of end-to-end -end stuff. We it's can't great, take you. your eyes off it. One of the most humid afternoons of the season so far as well and Jake Mulraney is the Under Armour on oh, and, that's, and again McGerson that's another one that's another one from McGerson there Kieran. Yeah, McGerson again on I'm surprised the ref hasn't gone to the pocket here the he's straight over to the, the rough treatment here and McGerson I think just he's having a players to keep in mind if they are playing it back to the goalkeeper yeah, could, don't hit those little mini mountains that are emerging could that be a, a oh, moment we just the see it there skip up on Mulraney but he's more than technical enough to take that down in his stride Victor Sardinyuk, he can't intercept it, finds its way through to Forrester. Forrester cuts onto the left foot, powerful shot, but look at that for a block from Dylan Hand. Threw his entire body at a brilliant from Hand. For a block from Dylan Hand. Threw his entire body at a brilliant from Hand. Fantastic, that's what you want to see from your centre half there. And Forrester had the space in front of him, and look, he's after playing a lovely little shimmy here. Mark Doyle, cross into the area. Mulraney takes it down first time, Mulraney, good save from Brady. Still in play, Mulraney goes after his own shot, which was parried away wow. by the town goalkeeper. That is it, that is it. Bigger clubs in the first division this season, the Waterfords, the Galways. That's where Longford's best performances have come. A big name coming to town again tonight is bringing the best out of this Longford town side. Here's Mulraney. Oh, what a cross that is from Mulraney. Really good defending from Shane Elworthy. He had to keep his eye on that one. Yeah, was he was facing his own goal. Very easily could have turned it into his own net, but he's knocked it behind for a corner. In the decision-making, despite the fact they're up against... Such a star-studded team, and just as I say that, commentator's yeah. curse, Gary Armstrong, <laughs> gives it away. Yeah, he just tried to slip it through, but... Speaking of slipping, Forrester slip, but he still managed to pick out Doyle. Doyle cutting inside. Oh, and Jack Brady got something on it. Manages to grab it at the second attempt. It was Adam Murphy. He got in just ahead of there. Yeah, team it. there by that's Hand it. and by Sardeniuk. And that's a great no-nonsense tackle there by Sardeniuk. Carty looks offside, flag stays down, good save from Jack Brady. Here's Carty again, Elworthy just needs to stand him up here, can't commit inside the penalty area. Great cross and it's in the back of the net. Pats take the lead through Adam Murphy, it's Connor Carty. From Norman, Connor Carty 
That's very, very soft. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't think there was anything in that at all, really, Kieran. The so ref was. Saki O'Connor in the Pats technical area wasn't happy with that one. This is nice play again from Longford. Joshua Gurgi in plenty of space. Can he pick out a town player? This is Christian McGerson! Ooh. Save from Linus. Second time he saved from McGurgi. With a couple of different uh, tactical changes from St. Pats as well, and he really had to be on his toes. Brady reads the situation well. And that's not a bad pass to, Adi to uh, Jordan Adeyemo. Here's Mo Budiath. Gets it out wide to Joshua Gurgi. Good positive first touch. Gurgi with the shot. He's hit the post. Wow. Wow. What the power he generated from that shot, Kieran. And it could have just crept in. And it could have went anywhere. Everybody back for St. Pat's. Everyone four for Longford Town. There's nobody on the halfway line. As Dylan Hand hurls this long ball in. Mo Budi. What a hit! 1-1! One, one. And the crowd goes wild here in Bishop's Gate! What a hit by Mo Budiaf. Was in a second as well, just didn't catch that one. A ball over the top. And this is the substitute here. Aaron Walshaw, that looks like a penalty! And oh Longford Town God. Wow. have switched off immediately after scoring. It is a foul on the substitute Tommy Lonergan from Aaron Walsh and Pat's gifted an opportunity to go straight this season up against Jack Brady. Town fans doing their best to put off Forrester, but he's used to the pressure, used to the big stage. Brady almost got to it in the bottom left. Fantastic, it's a great penalty from fantastic Forrester. Fantastic penally, you don't save them. Nearly hits the side netting before it hits the back net. And uh, Pat's back in front, but done the same ball in towards Adeyemo and Norman was down on his honkers there. He had lost his foot and if that ball had reached Jordan Adeyemo, then Norman was in absolutely no position to stop him. Oh, Sam Curtis has been absolutely clattered. It's totally accidental from Dylan Hand, but of course Hand had already been booked. He's been shown a straight red card, Dylan Hand. What? I cannot believe that. The, the referee had the yellow card out, put it back in and... Might have just taken the sting out of the Longford attack. Jordan Adeyemo nods it down to Mo Budiaf, skips over a tackle, shields the ball from Jamie Lennon. He gets it back here now from Joshua Gurgi. Budiaf takes a touch, takes another one to steady himself, cuts inside. Budiaf! Ooh! Got a touch! It's going to be a corner. What? Card for the unlucky Dylan Hand. Budiaf, Gurgi, Pats have a player down. They're defending with 10 here against 10 man Longford Town. Armstrong over the top towards Jordan Adeyemo. Armstrong goes after it again, nods it down to Budiaf. He's done well there, Armstrong. Budiaf. Oh, oh it's another, rising. Another, another effort from Budiaf. He's not afraid to shoot on sight, is he? Out comes the skipper, Joe Redmond. How he'd love a goal to mark his return to the Pats team after such an injury nightmare in recent months. Yeah, surely that'll be the tie over then if, if Pats could get the, the third Brady. goal. Brady got something on it. It's going to fall to Chris Forrester. Great save for Ken. What a Brady. save. Wonderful wow. technique from Forrester. Forces the best out of Jack Brady. It's going to be another corner to this. For fans that are a bit disgruntled that he's taking his time, Kieran. Mulraney fires it in towards Joe Redmond. Redmond with the loop and header, and it's in the back of the net. There was a bit of. Tra oh, flag is up. The flag is up. Joe Redmond doesn't realise it yet, but he soon will. He's still celebrating here in front of the. Oh, what a cup tie here in Longford. O'Connor, a chance to cross. It's a decent cross from O'Connor. Linus gets. His paws on it. There's two players down inside the penalty area. Referee's going to let play go on. O'Connor trying to get by Carty. O'Connor's done well. It takes a touch off Forrester. It's a corner to Longford Town. Don't be going. Look, the, the pressure is on the defenders here. I don't like this short corner stuff. I've said it many a time. But I think they're going to try one here again, are they? Or is it going to be just a direct ball in? Armstrong over hit his last one. Can't afford to do it this time. It's towards the back post. Good header from Joe Redmond. O'Connor, O'Connor goes down, no contact, and Mulraney's totally unmarked, but Jack Brady had a, no contact, and Mulraney's totally unmarked, but Jack Brady had a great start in position, but he's given the ball away, Brady's in no man's land, and he's had to clean his man out, and Jack Brady, is he going to be sent off, he is, Ralph Hennessy, producing the red card for the second time this afternoon, and there's an off the ball incident here yeah. as well, Kieran. Jack Brady taking Sam Curtis out of it, he had to do it, with the extra men, just play a bit of keep ball and a bit of game management. Kyle O'Connor showing too much of that to Jake Mulraney. He's backed up here by Sam Curtis if he wants to use him, but Mulraney keeps the ball, gets it into Forrester. Referee needs to get out of Forrester's way. Forrester flashes it wide. Now is he 
goes on a run. And has he got by O'Connor? No, O'Connor has defended barely. by O'Connor. Oh, but O'Connor's giving it away inside his own penalty area. This is Chris Forrester. Forrester. Still Forrester. Curtis. Oh, and that should have been it. It might go in yet, though. Mulraney off the post. Oh, my God. Pinball in the town penalty Whoa. area. They're still alive in this cup time. And the skipper now just spreads it out wide here to Norman. Sam Curtis. Will he have another go here at O'Connor? No, he'll just play a ball around him. Cross into the area. Oh, and it was almost Alex Nolan's turn. To, but it's, uh, it looks like a town defender got in in front of him. It's going to be a corner. Yeah, it's going to be a corner. But that's here, as good as a goal for Pats now because that yeah, will run well, the clock down further. Wow.